فلسطین پر ہونے والے اسرائیلی مظالم کے خلاف برطانیہ کے شہر اسٹاک آن برنٹ میں ایک احتجاجی مظاہرے کا انعقاد کیا گیا جس میں ہزاروں کی تعداد میں لوگوں نے شرکت کی مظاہرے کے دوران فلسطینیوں کے حق میں اور اسرائیل کے خلاف نعرے لگائے گئے مزید جانتے ہیں ہمارے نمائندے محمد حیدر حفیظ کے اس رپورٹ میں فلسطین پر ہونے والے اسرائیلی مظالم کے خلاف برطانیہ شہر اسٹوک کانٹریکٹ میں ایک احتجاجی مظاہرے کا انعقاد کیا گیا جس میں ہر رنگ اور نسل کے افراد نے شرکت کی احتجاجی مظاہرہ ہینلی پارک سے شروع ہوا جو مختلف راستوں سے ہوتے ہوئے بی بی سی کے آفس کے سامنے اختتام پذیر ہوا بی بی سی کے آفس کے سامنے فضا فری فری فلسطین کے نہرو سے گونج اٹھی اس موقع پر لوگوں کا کہنا تھا کہ بی بی سی اپنی بروڈ کاسٹ کے دوران جانداری کا مظاہرہ کر رہا ہے اور لوگوں تک اصل عقائد نہیں بچا رہا اس موقع پر اس احتجاجی مظاہرے کا ارگنائزر عتیق اور رحمان نے کہا کہ ہر انسان جس میں انسانیت ہے اس کو فلسطین کے ساتھ کھڑا ہونا چاہیے اور فلسطینوں پر مظالم بند ہونے چاہیے then we need to stand up for justice for everybody whether it's Ukrainians or Palestinians we can't be selectively saying let's let's get the food into Ukraine and then ignore the plight of the Palestinians in Gaza so we need to come forward and stand up and say every human being is valued every human being blood is sacred every human being is respected and they have the rights the basic human rights under international law to have access to food water electricity to education hospitals and schools should not be bombed. This is against international law and this is why we are here to stand up for the rights of our brothers and sisters in Gaza. اس موقع پر کنزرٹیو پارٹی کے سابق کونسل تارک محمود کیانی نے کہا کہ برطانوی وزیر اعظم رشی سوناک جس طرح سے اسرائیل کا ساتھ دے رہے ہیں یہ ایک رشی سوناک کا بیان کا عمل ہے کہ میں کنزرٹیو پارٹی کے اس فیصلے کی مذمت کرتا ہوں I I utterly condemn the decision of my own government my own party I'm a member of Conservative Party my own prime minister the decision he made I think is absolutely terrible and it's not uh, the British public who wants to see this decision and he's following Americans and he's following the Zionists so for that ex as as ex councillor and the member of the Conservative Party I condemn the decision made by Rishi Sunak and he should look after the interest of uh, British people rather than the Americans and the Zionists اس موقع پر مظاہرین کا کہنا تھا کہ اسرائیل مظلوم فلسطینوں پر ظلم و ستم کے پہاڑ ڈھا رہا ہے اور مغربی میڈیا اور مغربی حکمران اسرائیل کا ساتھ دے رہے ہیں برطانیہ ایک پیس لور ملک ہے لیکن یہاں کے حکمران اسرائیلی بربریت کا ساتھ دے رہے ہیں دنیا کو چاہیے کہ اسرائیلی مظالم کو بند کرایا جائے uh, We spent time in the West Bank and we know the conditions that people are living in under the, um, under, in the West Bank and in Gaza. What's happening in Gaza today is a war crime and it's really important that people show solidarity with Palestine at a time when there's been years and years of oppression which has gone unpunished and it's time that the Palestinian people have their own state and live in peace and freedom. We've had a massive turnout from the local community, local Muslims and non-Muslims supporting the injustices, the genocide that's taking place in, in Gaza, in Palestine. Um, I'd just like to thank everybody who, who turned up to this protest and please, please keep this protest going. It's not just today, it's just every day, every weekend. We need to keep the pressure on. We, are, um, we strongly, strongly condemn what is happening. We want the world to be listening to us. Um, we basically, um, you know, obviously a lot of Muslim brothers have, have been killed today and we want you to support them, please. Um, it's really good to see so many people come out uh, in Stoke-on-Trent. There's people from all different uh, communities and backgrounds here, from the mosques to uh, communities, um, stop the war groups, uh, campaign groups, so yeah. and families, children, women. It's really good to see everyone come out and support uh, Palestine. And uh, we are really condemn what's happening in Palestine at the moment. Uh, we're living here very peacefully in our own bubbles, but we need to get out and we need to support them because they are our brothers and sisters and children who are dying there, they have What, what can I say about them? Because I've got my own children. I feel the pain about them and I will do anything for them. So brothers and sisters, wherever is your, uh, wherever we, we people come out, we, sh we all should come out and we all should support Palestine. Because Alhamdulillah, we're here in solidarity with the Palestinian people. Uh, there's 
open genocide being committed in front of the whole world and the world leaders are letting letting us down really badly uh, especially in this country we we work live on uh, everything is associated here on our leaders whether they'll be the prime minister rishi sunak or the labor and, I, and and to be honest we're more disappointed in labor because we had a person like jeremy corbyn who was giving us directions of what the world order should be on a real order but instead we have these I don't know what the, the, the puppets of Israel and they, they are basically siding with the criminal genocide of Israel. We protest today for the Israel uh, very hardly the bombing the mosque and uh, hospitals uh, they are innocent people killing we are support for the Palestine we free Palestine and I humble request uh, Rishi Sunak and uh, all in the world uh, the leadership stop the um, war and save for the Gaza, save for the uh, Masjid al-Aqsa, save for the innocent people. Jang kisi bhi masle ka hal nahi, jang khud ek masla hai. Dunia ko chahiye ke Falistinu par honne wale Israeli mzalim ko band karaya jaye taake dunia mein aman kaim ho sake. Mamad Adir Fiz, Dunia News, Stoke